So do you know 19 people die every hour on road accidents? Just imagine. They have their lives, their dreams, their family, their parents. All come to an end. Greetings to everybody over here. This is Anmol Singh Sambhra. Today I'm going to be talking about the topic that is... Hello, death. So this incident is regarding an accident which I had been through and I saw death in front of me. Yes. So now, listen carefully. I'm going to walk you all through two rounds to get to the end of my speech. Round one, the incident. So this incident is regarding an accident I had gone through in my life in 2018 January. So back then, I used to be in dramatic society of my college, ARSD college at the university. Uh, it was my sophomore year. Right, so back then we used to bring creative scenes to the play so that we can add it to the play. Right, so one fine day, uh, I was thinking about the scenes in my mind. I saw and uh, I was riding uh, my motorcycle back to my home. Then there was this e rickshaw. He made an extreme right U-turn crossing my bike and I immediately initiated the brakes and my bike went from vertical to horizontal and I was drifting on the road for like 6 or 7 seconds and as I was drifting on the road I saw there was this white wagon coming from the front and then I saw there is this tire of this white wagon which is getting closer to my face and I was like no, no God, this should not happen. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to ruin my face. In those one or two seconds maybe, I saw death in front of me. So I was saved by maybe one or two seconds. The tire just passed away. I got up, I got to the corner, I sat down and I was getting unconscious. As I was getting unconscious, I shouted by some abusive words and then I shouted, where is that e guy? I want to beat him. Mm. And I saw there was this e guy, he flew away at the time. Mm. And then after that I got unconscious, after 5 or 10 uh, minutes maybe, I got up, drove my bike, got to the doctor, had my tetanus injection, full stop. Round 2, the realization or the conclusion. You know, in those 2 or 3 seconds, I saw death. I was like, I was shivering. The whole life, the people, they love me. The people who love me, the people who depends upon me. I was thinking about them. I was thinking that what is going to happen after that? And that came, like that had given me this realization that life is such a precious gift. And that was the inflection point of my life. That was the point, after that point, I started believing in God more. I started loving people more. I started nurturing the relationships I have in my life more. And I came to this realization that life is such a precious gift we all have and yet we all fail to value the significance of it. So I just want to ask you all a question, everybody over here. How many of you believe in God? Just please raise your hands. How many of you truly believe in God? All right, almost everybody, thank you. Now think of an incident that had triggered you to start believing in God. And you are going to find similar, or at least an emotion, an, an extreme emotion that had led you to start believing in God. Yes. So start nurturing relationships in your life. Start nurturing the people you have in your life, the materialistic things you possess in your life, because these stress, the trauma, the anxiety, the depression, the, what I can say, the health problems, they all can be conquered, but not death. Thank you so much for listening to me. This is Mulsi signing out. I'll actually remind you that we have started to have great everyone.